G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. Today we're gonna be doing, uh, I wanna say a different kind of content, not really a different kind of content, uh, just something that I used to do in the past and kind of abandoned, but gonna be looking at bringing back the match day vlogs for the 2021 season. Been a bit slack so far, didn't do it for the Eagles Gold Coast game in round one. Definitely will be doing it for the Pies Eagles game on Friday night next week, but today obviously the Eagles are playing in Melbourne. So I'm actually gonna vlog the live stream that we do today. So that's kicking off at like, 2.15 Perth time, which I believe is 4.15 in Victoria. Damn, homie, that's a nut game over there. But pretty big day of content planned. Obviously, with the stream, we originally gonna have Druzy over as well. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream on True Footy, then do another live stream for Gold Coast Carlton uh, later in the evening. But Druzy's unfortunately come down with an unfortunate case of little bitch itis. He's got a bit of a runny nose and a scratchy throat. So he thought, boys, I'm gonna sit this one out Enjoy metros without me. So it's gonna be me, Bush, and Druzy getting a bit lit in the second uh, in the second live stream of the day, and then head on out to Freo. But probably gonna give Freo a miss tonight. But I thought, why not? Still uh, have a crack at some content. So it'll be me and Bush for the live stream later today, and I uh, can't wait for it to kick off. Early vibes for the Saints Eagles game. I'm feeling fairly confident at the moment, to be honest. Um, Saints obviously got battered by the Dons last week, and the Eagles uh, really clapped the cheeks of Port Adelaide, who then beat Richmond uh, last night, which was. An incredible game. Sad to see so many young players like Butters. In particular, Butters is such a good player. Easily my favourite Port Adelaide player right now. Uh, and then Durs may go down with uh, what could be an ACL, unfortunately. So, um, incredible game. And I'm really glad that uh, that Port got the chocolates. Probably did the Eagles a favour in some way. But um, big opportunity for us to potentially leapfrog Port. Um, and I think we're already ahead of Richmond at the moment. So, big game for West Coast. Royal Marshall's back in for the Saints, which does have me... Not nervous, but I think if uh, if Nat Nui was allowed to do whatever he wants against, you know, some inexperienced rucks today, I think we would have absolutely torched them by 50 points. Marshall at least makes it a bit more competitive there. And maybe they you know, got a bit of a point to prove. Their season's almost on the line already because they've been really poor in the first month. So if the Saints don't respond today, you're thinking, poor, can they make the finals? Uh, whereas... You know, if they win today, you think, gee, you know, they're back pretty much where they were before. Right now, I'm going to go pick up something from my dad, um, and you're going to hear his thoughts on how the Eagles go today as well. All right, here we are at Papa McClure's residence, the birthplace of True Footy, actually. Uh, this is, yeah, literally where True Footy was launched in late 2017. I'm going to get into the shade here, it's a little, little stanky, but... Uh, yeah, a lot of fun memories here. Used to live here for the first two years of the channel. Um, and yeah, podcast number one was up in the spare bedroom up there. So um, yeah, some good memories. And now we're gonna see Dad. So I need to pick up a microphone. We get his expert advice on the tipping because he helped rates himself. Here I am in the uh, Papa True Footy residence with the master tipster, as he assures me he is, after a long successful career as a beta. Um, we've got Dad here. Dad, how are you feeling about the Eagles game? I'm pretty, pretty confident. Pretty confident? We're in good form and I honestly don't rate St Kilda. Everyone mm. with a lot of hype about them early in the year, but I, I saw them play one game. <laughs> that's enough. And that's enough. <laughs> what did you think of the changes? Waterman in for Shuey? Inconsequential. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is a confident man. How, how are you going with tipping so far? Have you tipped both Sydney and Port? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. I'm going yeah. for the clean sweep this oh, week. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Whereas before you weren't really trying that. That's, 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 that's fine. Now there's Dad watching. I've got to try harder. Yeah, so. I run the Bunnings um, footy tipping comp and they all know I do a footy channel yes. and uh, there's 12 of us and I sit one point off 11th. So, <laughs> so, and there's like 15, 14 year old kids in this thing. People who are like the most casual footy fans ever and I'm sitting second last. You so. shouldn't be afraid to ask me. Yeah, well. You should yeah. not be afraid to ask yeah. me. Yeah, mind. Yeah, I share yeah. my tips. You always ask me who I'm tipping just so you are like confident that you've beaten me. No, so I can go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm one out of three tipping the Eagles this year. Mm -hmm. uh, only tipped them correctly against Gold Coast. Um, tipped them to beat the dogs and lose to Port. So uh, I've tipped them today, so it's going to hurt when we lose, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Angie asked me the other day, uh, last night, who Jesse tipped. Oh, and no. I said, I hope you tipped Essendon. I see Waterman more as a replacement for Langdon mm. rather than a replacement for Shuey. Mm. Big, so true. big marking power. I think he'll be good. Mm, yeah, yeah, hope so. And then uh, Brander obviously played his best game for the he club did. so far. He, should, he, he stayed in, which is he worth is worth his while. Yeah, so we might see him more at the centre bounce this week um, yes. with no Shuey as well. So yeah, I'm oh. um, hoping for a win, hoping for like 25 points. Um, yes. Yeah, so yep. go Eagles. Very good. Who is this? We don't know some French cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. now, go. No? Alright, three, two, one. go. Wait, 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, 3, 2, 1, go. Wait, 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 wait. He's not pressing anything. 3, 2, anything. 1, go. I'm joking, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bonjour. Oh, Jesus, mate. Well, so that's the closest thing I have to Eagles gear. Nice. I was joking when I said you have to wear Eagles gear, but I appreciate the effort, mate. I figured I'd go bold fit for the first stream of the hey, season anyway. Hey, hey, hey. I've got my fucking glasses. Honest answer? Yeah. Are you manscaped? Currently. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome back to True Footy Live for season 2021. It's actually not our first stream, so talking out me off, but uh, West Coast versus St. Kilda today, boys. I'm joined once again by Young Dilan, as seen from the Cold War podcast, link in the description. And Daniel H. Busho. I'm actually vlogging this at the same time, so you can't see Bush. Maybe I'll just... Bit of simultaneous. Nice. How you doing, Busho? Good, man, sir. Is the audio loud enough? That's my other concern. That sounds all right. Sounds all right to me. I was watching most of the that Port game, and I don't know if Boke started well. Maybe people who watched the whole game can tell me, but... I didn't think Boke started well, but no. when the game got hot, you and I were both looking at it and going, yeah, no, he's throwing himself over the ball and um, could have been the difference between the two teams. Yeah. Shame to see Dersma potentially. Uh, yeah. He's okay, apparently. Really? Yeah, they don't think it's an ACL. They've done an initial scan. There's no tears, no really anything drastic yet. Wow. He's a clutch player. Yeah. Young Robbie Gray. With Roberto. Roberto. Did you burnt while you said that? I think I did, actually. <laughs> He's not even a show anymore. Gas just comes out of him too. Uh, <laughs> I think that's where he's going to line up today, hence why Waterman's replaced Shuey. So Waterman forward line, Brand to the guts, is what I'm expecting. Brander? Yeah, but he played, he's been playing inside mid for uh, the Waffle Eagles and be getting BOGs in the in scratch matches. Darling has taken a mark, he's run into an open goal, the Eagles are on the board. He, he was alright. Oh, 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 oh baby. Memory, please me. shank it. Nah, he's kicked it, back to a seven point ball game. Oh, Petricelli's running into an open goal, the Eagles get one against the play. The score is somehow all even. The Eagles do not deserve to be this close, but I will take it. Cole sends it deep. There is a few Eagles at ground level. Petricelli! Oh, what a goal! <laughs> Two in a row for Petch. That That is a genuinely good goal. 48 in the chat. I wonder how many people clicked onto this to see me react to the Eagles getting butchered for 10 minutes. <laughs> Two great coming, uh, crumbing goals, rather. Although, we'll see how tonight goes. Oh my god, Kelly! Two what the fuck? To be fair, the pressure's decent from St. Kilda, but some of these errors are just like... Strange quarter, the Eagles uh, dropped off completely and then... Um, even, even in the build-up to that goal, they were looking poor. It was just um, a good sort of release handball from Darling. Are we going to Metro's tonight? Oh, Jesus, could be on. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy Winder has just belted a fantastic opening goal of his career. The Eaton Boomers prospect. He's, uh, he and I actually played at the same junior footy club, except I'm like 10, 10 years older than this guy. JK with the intercept and goal assist. Really good play from JK there, actually. Oh! Oh no! Kennedy! Kennedy is kind of spoiled. Uh, Crips, yeah. Damn, that was a certain shot on goal. West Coast in the forward pocket. Jamie Cripps on a Dom Sheed angle, you would say, for a right footer. <laughs> we love going back to a Dom Sheed reference as many e times in an Eagles game as we possibly can. E that looks pretty good, but it doesn't have the legs. It's a goal! <laughs> what a ripper. What a ripper from Cripper. Jack Steele's a handsome man. Absolute rooster. A new segment on True Footy, Hottie Watch. Brad Crouch, no. Baby Smith's been pissing me off lately. I reckon he's got mm. a bit of flog about him. Didn't get talked about much, but I, uh, except for Dermot Brereton, but the way he stepped over Brad Shepard against the Eagles, I thought that was really lame. All right, second half, just about underway. Nick Nat up against, it looks like Marshall's back in the ruck. He's back on the field, that's yeah. good. Uh, 28 points to the margin. And Toeball Jr. flicks it out with a handball. Still feel like this is anyone's game. But the Eagles be aiming to get one against the play here because St. Kilda have been dominating the first five minutes in this like, third quarter. It's accurate too, that's coming back Damn. and that's a goal. And that's how the Eagles have the ascendancy so far in this game. The midfield's not winning. Uh, around the ground, St. Kilda's probably shaded them. But the forward line's so potent that uh, they've stretched out to a 27-point lead. The Velcro gloves on today, JK. <laughs> he does. He plucked that bitch. That was a great mark from Josh Kennedy in a quick response to Jared Brander slipping over for literally no reason and the St. Kilda getting an easy goal. So, again, margin to 21 points. The game's still hot. This is a very competitive game. I'm not confident... I'm not relaxed, put it that way. I'm probably that danger margin now for St. Kilda where if the Eagles get the next one, it's... Uh, It'll be tough. Not impossible. Oh, Petrocelli! He kicked it! Yes! Is that four goals for Petrocelli? This is one of the best games four, of his four. career. I think it's four. I don't know. It's not like football this year is a little different. Teams can score so quickly. Like, I feel like comebacks are a lot more um, possible now. All right, so uh, not a lot of vlog footage in the last few minutes as St. Kilda absolutely tailed up West Coast and raised, uh, what was it, 33 points the margin? Now it's 10. 10. I think, yeah, 10 points the margin at three-quarter time. One-way traffic. 
Hopefully St Kilda have spent their tickets because they are just making the Eagles look like shit house at the moment. Killing them in all the, the stats, all the contested ball. It's pretty much been the Eagles four and a half game that's uh, allowed them to stay in the game because they kicked so straight. But if they hadn't kicked straight, they would be losing this game. So we're going to see need to see a better effort from the Eagles. If they play with that intensity in the last quarter, they're going to get done. Oh, fucking tackle Brad Hill. Seriously, he, he fumbled it like 10 times and no one tackled him. Finally got him down. Oh, Billings launches the ball forward. Oh, that was a uh, blind kick to three Eagles and one Saint. It's found the only Saint. That's frustrating. Shit, my cash out's gone up to 44 bucks. Mm, I reckon Saints are pretty safe here, eh? Yeah, I'm thinking, hold on, fuck it. I wonder how many people are going to jump on to see my reaction. <laughs> 47 is a lot. <laughs> 57 according to mine. Oh really? Yeah. I mean you can see this coming. People said I was negative, but the way the game's been trending. You so reckon cash out, Drews? Oh, uh, no way. And St Kilda are safe here. St Kilda have played a lot better than the Eagles today. The Eagles are a very, very soft team. Yeah, they need someone for the Eagles to start getting angry and care, because it doesn't look like they care since since yeah. they got that five goal lead. Even when they were kicking those goals, we were saying like the difference between the two sides is the Eagles are kicking straight. Making the most of the opportunities, but St Kilda have I've just had that many more opportunities, 24 yeah. to 15. But now, now the gap between the sides is widened so that St Kilda just waltzing out of the centre with the ball. The Eagles aren't really putting any pressure on. Maybe a half tackle here and there, one on one contest goes the Saints' way. Yeah, the pressure, like the pressure, they're off the fucking Richter scarf. Yeah, yeah. We just look like we've all got the flu. So this game has taken a disgusting turn. The Eagles have been battered from pillar to post for a good quarter now. No response, really pathetic. Nick Nat, worst on ground, followed by Tim Kelly, close to worst on ground. The takeaway from that game was how poor Port were. Mm. I, I, I said this to Dad all throughout the Port game, I was like, I'm not that impressed. I'm really not that impressed. I'm gonna need Metros to fucking get this game out of my system. <laughs> oh. The Eagles have an inside 50 for the first time in a long time. Darling has an uncontested mark. Uncontested mark in the goal square and he spilled Ooh, it. That <laughs> and that's out in the full when they're giving it to Brander. I'm filthy. I'm filthy. I don't know if that's coming across. I'm very negative. I don't think I've said what the fuck so many times in a game. So slow and like they don't give a shit. Like they could just run into an open goal there. Very little pressure. It's been one of the filthiest losses I've seen in a long time. I don't know. I think you tend to forget the previous bad losses. Yeah. And this is this, the one you're in right now always feels like the worst, but this is certainly one of the most angry I've ever felt in a football game. What the fuck was that kick? Good response from St Kilda. I guess, as a neutral fan here, Bush, yep. where do you think this elevates St Kilda back into the packing order? Because people were saying no finals a week ago. I think they're back in that sort of tier of like the Essendon, E, Carlton, E, that tier of teams, yeah. rather than like that more certain for finals team. You could literally make a Benny Hill like uh, montage <laughs> over the Eagles in this game. Well, I love your work, Nick. I jumped on at a half time at nine dollars seventy five. Oh, that's sick. Thank you very yeah, much. cool. Yeah, no. <laughs> mate, these are fucking eighty seven bucks I ever made. That is actually a fat load of money. Congrats on the bet, even though I hate you. <laughs> oh, West terrible. Coast flat track bullies. Let's look in isolation at the games. Gold Coast put up a tough, were tough opponents. I think we withstood that game well. The Bulldogs was a far better performance than today yeah. when we played them. Lost by seven points to a team that's a fair bit better than St Kilda. No, I wouldn't say that's a flat track performance. Last week against the Port, yes, Port were, the, Port were just as bad as we were today and we, they made it easy for us and I didn't take too much out of that win. Today was not our toughest opponent and we were fucking nowhere near it. I'm guessing we'll have a... My uh, DMs are blowing up, eh? So we live streamed the Collingwood final last year and I don't know if you remember this, but I was sitting here and I was like, this doesn't burn me that much because it didn't feel mm. like we'd lost anything. That, that fucking annoyed me way more. That was way worse. No, I'm not melodramatic. <laughs> I, but credit where it's due. I, I know I'm just banging on about the Eagles. St. Kilda's pressure, like you said, uh, yeah, made it very, very tough. But then maybe there was just some perceived pressure where because of the pressure all night, even when we were open in space, we were making dumb yeah. mistakes. So uh, Logan tipped the Saints. Well, credit yeah. for back of his team getting it right. Yeah, I love the gusto there. <sighs> Thank you for everyone who tuned in today uh, to see me have what is can only be described as an absolute meltdown <laughs> on true footy life, but hey. You it's, got to see me be a punk wizard, so it's okay. It's uh, it's uncut, it's raw, it's uncircumcised footage of uh, <laughs> true footy. This is what we're like on match days, and I'm sure I'll be tearing my hair out again next week when Collingwood do us in in Perth. But um, while we have you, 
Thank you so much for tuning in, but also subscribe if you haven't already. Um, help us tick over to 11K because I think we're borderline. Yeah, thanks guys. We're going to end the stream there. Thank you so much and we will see you next time. Peace out. <sighs> All right. It's been like 45 to an hour after the game. I think I've just stopped pacing. I haven't really calmed down that much. That, uh, that was awful. And uh, I had a choice between on the stream, bottling it all up and staying completely silent, which I think it was for about 10 minutes in that third quarter, or actually expressing myself. Um, and as it turned out, me expressing myself was just a lot of uh, shameful swearing uh, at how frustrating the Eagles were. It, it just kind of sucks, because I feel like it was an opportunity to sort of ascend ourselves into being in the top four, at least on form. Uh, maybe not in terms of ladder position, but you got the Bulldogs and Sydney, probably the clear top two performers uh, so far this year. And then there was a little bit of an opportunity to sneak into maybe third with Port and Richmond not looking super crash hot, but as it turns out, we just fall back with the rest of the slop with a really poor performance. The midfield without Shui and Yo uh, was exposed, um, and I think St Kilda just wanted it more. The Eagles literally played like a team who had the flu, um, which you know I'm hoping they secretly did. But I mean, I've been very negative on the Eagles and maybe not getting given St Kilda enough credit. They probably deserved, well, they certainly deserved to, to win probably by more, to be honest. Um, but they obviously came out with a response after a uh, bad loss last week and just out-hunted us. And yeah, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm pretty gutted. I'm not going to lie. But um, thank you to everyone who joined in the stream. I think we had crazy numbers, undoubtedly, because people joined in to see my reaction. I hope they got what they were looking for. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of style video. I don't know if I'll keep it. Depends really on the views and, and the response as well. So if you like it, write in the comments i enjoy pickles uh and i would really appreciate that but thanks guys um stay tuned for the drew footy show and just the tips coming up this week probably gonna do a podcast um and you know we'll do a live stream before long as well so thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one cheers